Hey guys and welcome back to another new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. I'm Crossing Channel and today we're going to be talking about something that may be a bit controversial in the Animal Crossing fandom and that is the most hated Animal Crossing villagers. Now I asked my followers on Twitter for a video, what are you guys most disliked villagers in Animal Crossing and why? Now, before we get started with this, I just want to preface this by saying these are of course people's opinions, the opinions are always going to differ, and you know, just because they're on this video doesn't mean they're like bad villagers in any way, it's all subjective, it's just a bit of fun to see what people think, and honestly some of these replies are hilarious, so I really wanted to make this video, so let's get straight into this. Now if you guys did not know, my least favourite villager, and to be honest I don't really hate him, but I really dislike him, is Chops. Chops is one of those villagers who is just so um, arrogant. That's the best way I can describe him. He's incredibly arrogant. He thinks he's better than everyone else. He's ugly. I'm sorry. Okay, I know we shouldn't judge too much on looks here. I'm going to try and avoid doing that. But yeah, he is ugly. And just in general, he's nasty. I met him back in Animal Crossing New Leaf. He moved into my town right in front of the town hall, blocking access pretty much. I mean, I, I could still get in, but I couldn't decorate it. And, you know, he just would not leave me alone. Then he moved to all my friends' islands as well and tormented them. He was like a plague in my Animal Crossing town. And these are the kind of stories that we're going to have in this video and that I want to, you know, go over. So we the next one is actually by a fellow YouTuber named Protendo, who has a really great Animal Crossing channel. Well, it's not just Animal Crossing, but it's fair to say he uploads a lot of that. And he says... And this one is hilarious. He says, Marcel is a disgrace to this earth. <laughs> he is quite possibly the ugliest being created by man and his face haunts my mind every time I so much as blink. He has no regard for anyone but himself. His colour actually fits him quite nicely because I want to vomit whenever I see him. <laughs> so the vitriol here is intense. I love it. I love it so much. I don't hate Marcel. I don't even dislike him. In fact, I actually think he's kind of okay. But at the same time, he is this kind of strange dog. I don't really know how to feel about him. His design is quite out there and I can see why people wouldn't like him. I don't know what he did to hurt you so bad, Protendo. I'd love for you to follow up in the comments section with how he actually hurt you and how this uh, hatred began because th there's definitely a story here and I want to know what this story is so bad. We have this one next. For the longest in New Leaf, I hated Apple. She moved into my town and for some reason I just hated the way she looked. I'd consider myself pretty mild-mannered, but I ended up smacking her with my net just to get her to leave. I felt horrible about it afterwards, though. Long story short, don't ju judge others by their looks. You can end up loving them in the end and becoming great friends. I still don't like her design, though. So this one's actually quite nice. Uh, Limmy here has become good friends with Apple after kind of realizing that, okay, maybe I shouldn't judge her just based on her looks, you know. She doesn't really like her looks still, but, you know, she's gotten looked past that and said, okay, maybe Apple isn't so bad after all. And that's fair, I actually quite like this take. Apple, I really like, I think she's quite cute actually. So I'm happy to see that you two have made up and you don't hate her anymore. This next one says, my answer is for sure Jambet. Why? Have you seen those lips? Can't miss those. This one's definitely a popular one. Jambet is really kind of hated across the land. I do meet some people who actually stand Jambet, which I find so strange. How can she be your favorite? I mean, I'm not judging, you know? You know, if she's your favorite, that's completely fine. But for me personally, I definitely think she's one of the worst, ugliest villagers out there. Again, I'm really trying hard not to judge on looks, but when you see a character that looks like this, I mean, what else can you really say? She also has the snooty personality, so I think that combination just really makes her not a very popular character. But at the same time, there is no denying that Jambet would probably be a good kisser which I think is maybe the worst thing that I've ever said on this channel and hopefully we can all forget that I ever said it because yeah, I, I don't really want to remember that to be honest. The next one says, I'm gonna make some people mad, but Raymond, he's so overrated. I mean, his design is unique and cool, but he's just a cat. I thought Bob was bad. All I see is Raymond. We should appreciate more villagers like O'Hare and Celia. So there's a lot to break down here. First of all, Raymond is one of my favorites. How dare you? But no, I'm just kidding. Raymond is, you know, if you don't like him, that's completely fine. But I've never really liked the logic of hating villagers just because they're popular. I always found that a bit silly, you know? There's nothing wrong with a village being popular. People can just like whatever villagers they like, you know, at the end of the day. And I mean, you even admitted that his design is unique and cool, so surely he's not overrated if you can rate reasons why he's good, yeah? I don't know, that's just me. Um, but I do agree with you at the same time that we should appreciate some of the lesser loved villagers like O'Hare and Celia. They're definitely cool ones too, and they should also get love. 
But just because Raymond gets love doesn't mean you can't give love to O'Hare and Celia. You can give love to as many or as little villages as you want, you know? There's so many to enjoy, and I think that's a great part of Animal Crossing. The source locator says, Rodney! Nobody likes Rodney, and there's a response. Austin John plays is relieved to have Rodney dead. Now I actually did see this, and I have no idea what this means. Apparently there is some drama between Rodney and Austin John plays. I'm not quite sure what happened, but apparently he killed Rodney, maybe? I, uh, you guys would have to find out for yourself. I really don't know the full story here. All I know is that Twiggy moved in instead of Rodney, and Rodney has now been eradicated from his island. Now, I don't really like Rodney, but at the same time, I don't really hate him either. I know I've kind of said that about everyone on this list, except maybe like Chops and Jambet, but um, yeah, he's just one of those villagers that I just kind of don't really think twice about. I'm not going to lie. He looks like he has a constant something about him that is very unsettling, so I can definitely see why Austin John may have not liked him, but I'd love to know why Austin John actually hates Rodney. I want to know the reason why, so maybe I'll have to catch up on some of his videos and find out. Pietro, he haunts my nightmares, and someone replied, no. So this is actually quite a popular one, and also a really unpopular one at the same time. It's right in between. People either seem to love Pietro or they hate him. For me, I actually quite like him. I think he's got a lot of character. I don't hate him at all, actually. I, I think he's quite interesting. But some people just hate him. I don't know, maybe they have like a clown phobia or something like that. It's very possible. For me, I just think he's, he's pretty cool, actually, and he has a unique design. I'm not really a huge fan of any of the sheep villages in the game, but I can definitely admire Pietro, you know? I think he's got a certain interesting quality about him. He may haunt your nightmares, but he would never do it intentionally. He would, you know, he, he'd be very nice about it. He'd come and haunt you. He'd maybe come out from the drain like it, but he would do it in a sort of caring way because he's a smug personality and they always kind of have nice, nice attributes to them despite being called smug. The final one we have in this video is Gaston. He did me dirty in my Wild World Villager when I was five. He replaced Daisy, mo moved into my flower garden, and called me stupid ever since then. I've held a grudge against his bunny. Okay, I love Gaston. I know he's done some bad things to you, but I love him. I think he's such a great design character. He looks so angry, and he has a great moustache, and he's a rabbit. I love rabbits. So yeah, no, I'm actually a big fan of Gaston. I can't hate him at all. I can kind of see why he would annoy you if he moved into your flower garden. It's really good that they kind of can't do that anymore in Animal Crossing New Horizons. That's a great change. And it actually changes up the dynamic because I feel like a lot of reasons why people hate certain villages is because of where they moved or, you know, stuff like that. So the fact that that has changed will maybe make people see the villages a bit differently. It's been really interesting seeing all the different reasons why you guys hate these certain villages. It's definitely been very eye-opening for me, and I would love for you guys in the comment section down below to actually tell me what your most hated village is and why. I did get a lot of responses that were just the name of the village and that was it, but I kind of want to know why. I find it very interesting to know why we dislike certain characters. So as you guys know, mine is Chops, and he basically destroyed my Animal Crossing New Leaf Town, so I hope I'll never meet him in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Though I will say I did accidentally curse quite a few people with him because they came to his campsite in the game, which was quite a big shame. If you guys want to help support the channel, click the join button down below or the link in the video description to become a member of the Bob's Gang. You can get a bunch of cool perks for doing so. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and you can also subscribe for even more Animal Crossing New Horizons content. You can click either of the videos on the side to check out even more of my content, and I really hope you guys will enjoy it. So yeah, I will catch you guys all in the next Animal Crossing New Horizons video.